Hi everyone. Today I wanted to show you this beautiful little ecosystem I made. Um, I wanted to show you uh, what I did kind of to practice before I did my actual succulent tapestry. Went ahead and created this little box and um, just basically thought of it as a piece of land where I wanted to plant succulents and cacti and just created it like if it was a garden, uh, a big garden. So I just practiced what I was gonna do here with the rock and the layering and the cacti and the succulents. And this is a great way to kind of rehearse what you want to do in the ground or if you can't have an actual planting in the ground. For example, I had an issue with trees dropping tons of leaves all around my backyard, so um, now that we have a tree that was taken out, um, that's why I planted my tapestry on the other side of the garden, which I am so pleased with and I think it's doing fantastic, but still we have tons of trees um, around the back of our property here and these trees uh, line a community garden that we have in the back of our property and um, We'll see how they do. They had a hard cutting um, at the beginning of the year. They trimmed them down and the leaves are barely starting to come out. So I don't think it's gonna be that bad this year. But as they grow, I'm pretty sure they're gonna drop tons of leaves in uh, my garden area like in the past. But this was the situation with a tree that we had hanging over our property on top of where I planted my succulent bed on the other side of the garden. And it's gone now, so I'm hoping that won't be a problem or an issue. But if it will, um, well, I'm going to have to find a solution because, um, yeah, it's going to be really hard to pluck out leaves out of a succulent garden with rock and prickly, prickly stuff. So, yeah, just uh, wanted to show you this awesome little garden and share with you some, some tips of what I would have done different. I don't know if you can see some gnats flying around. Um, we've had some rain here in Southern California, so we have some gnats uh, flying around, but um, I keep them at bay with cinnamon. I sprinkle cinnamon in the dirt and they really don't like it and it deters them. But um, in this case, I didn't sprinkle it in the dirt before I started the planting and applied the rock on top, which I should have done. So in hindsight, that's something that my mistake, I hope you learn from my mistake and you sprinkle uh, cinnamon before you put the top dressing on. Um, yeah, that would be optimal because that would um, keep the gnats at bay and deter them from being in your tapestry. I did sprinkle some cinnamon after the fact, as you can see, but it, you know, it dirties the rock and just makes everything yucky so I hope you'll try it it's a great way to do a trial run of a tapestry or just to have an awesome little box with succulents in your collection so just remember cactus soil don't overwater it and put the cinnamon before you put the top dressing and uh, just thank you so much to everyone who has uh, subscribed to my channel and who has watched my videos I love um, reading your comments and sharing with you guys and watching your videos and learning um, stuff. It's awesome when people with green thumbs can share all this great information. So have a super fantastic day and I will talk to you guys later.